For the second part of the lesson, boys and girls, you are going to learn how to indirectly compare objects by length. What does that mean? Well, what it means is you're going to compare the length of two objects and try to determine which is longer. To do that, you may have to use another tool. Let's read more to find out. For our solve and share, it says, how can you find out whether the shoe or the pencil is longer without putting them next to each other? What can you use? Circle the longer object and explain how you found out. So let's look carefully at the shoe and the pencil and try to determine which is longer. We know that when we measure, we're supposed to have both objects in the same starting place. And as you can see, this one is further back. So they're not lined up. Hmm, how can we figure out which is longer? It did say that we could use something to help us. Well, boys and girls, when you measure indirectly, that means you find another tool to measure. I'm going to use a crayon. When I measure, I start at the very end of the shoe all the way to the end of the shoe or the tip of the shoe. And I see that we have lots of crayons still left here. When I move it to the crayon, however, I only have a little bit of the crayon left. The pencil is taking up more room, meaning it's longer, its length is longer. So there you have it, the crayon is longer. So I'm going to circle the crayon. Okay, let's move on to the next part. How can you compare the length of two pencils when they are in different places? You can compare each pencil to a third object. So here you have a blue pencil. Compare one pencil with the string. So they're using a string to compare both pencils. And the string, boys and girls, this is very important, is the same string. In other words, you're using the same string for both pencils. This pencil is shorter than the string. You only have a little bit left here, but it's clearly shorter. Whoa, when we look at this pencil, it's longer than the string. Since we use the same string for both of them, then we know the blue pencil is shorter than the string and the red pencil is longer than the string. Therefore, the red pencil is longer than the blue pencil. Here are some more examples. Circle the picture of the object that is longer. Use the red crayon. So we're going to use the red crayon, the same red crayon for both objects to see which is longer. Now, when I compare the purple marker to the red crayon, hmm, we still have some crayon left. How do I know? I'm going to use my pencil and draw a little dotted line and I see that we still have some crayon left. But when I look at the marker, the marker goes over the crayon. There aren't, there isn't any crayon left. So clearly this green marker is longer. Now we're going to compare the feather and the glue stick. First, let's look at the feather. We're going to compare it or measure it with this red crayon. It's already lined up. So all I have to do is see hmm, how long it is. Oh, wow. That feather goes way past the crayon. Here's the tip of the crayon, but it's over the tip of the crayon. That's pretty long. But when I look at the glue stick, again, they're lined up evenly. But when I go to this end, there's still some crayon left. So this glue stick is shorter than the crayon. The feather was longer than the crayon. So I know that the feather is definitely longer 
than the glue stick. Now it's your turn, boys and girls. It says circle the picture of the object that is longer. Use the orange string to help. Well, since you don't have your math books, you won't be able to circle, but you can look carefully at the picture and write the name of the object that is longer. So for number three, we have a frog and a leaf. We have scissors and a stapler. In number five, we're comparing, sorry, a book to a tube of toothpaste. And we're comparing toothpaste to a stapler. Pause the video, boys and girls, and see if you can answer these questions and then return to the video. Okay, number one, we're comparing a frog to a leaf. I'm going to use my pencil again. And I see that the string ends here, but we still have some frog parts left here, meaning the frog is longer than the string. We're going to use the same string to measure the leaf. Here, they're lined up evenly, but when we go to this end, the leaf ends before the string does. We still have some string left. So the leaf is shorter than the string, but the frog was longer than the string. So I know that the frog is longer. Let's take a look at the scissors and the stapler. Again, they're lined up evenly on this end. The scissor goes beyond or past the string. The stapler does not. Therefore, the scissors is longer. Now we go to the math book and the toothpaste. The math book is way over the line. The toothpaste is not. So we know the math book is longer. Next we go to the toothpaste and the stapler. When I look, the toothpaste is over the string. They're lined up evenly here, the stapler and the string, but the stapler does not go past the string. So the toothpaste is longer. Nice job, boys and girls. 